Hello. In this video I'm showing you a big blunder made by world champion Magnus Carlsen. He was black here against Vladislav Artemiev. Uh, here black was to move and he played knight e4. Black wanted to simplify the position to maybe clear the c file by doing this. And eventually rook would go to the c2 and have an active game. But after knight e4 he missed a very important detail. You can pause the video here and try to find a way to punish Black's last move. Artemiev played f4. As you can see, the queen doesn't have many squares available from which it can defend the knight on e4. And White's idea is to simply cut these squares. Uh, these squares are e5 and f5. If the queen moves away to, let's say, b8, then the knight is lost. So the only square left is f5 now. After which, Artemiev attacks the queen by g4. And now the queen doesn't have any squares left. If the queen moves to c5, for example, just take a free piece. So Magnus here is trying to salvage already ruined position by giving up an exchange. Rook takes c3. And now white made a very good decision, practically speaking. He exchanges queens here by gf. Uh, bc3 is also good enough, but it keeps the queens on the board and it gives black some chances to survive. Especially with uh, white having uh, less than 2 minutes on the clock, it wouldn't be so smart to keep queens on the board. After queen c5, black is still alive and with the knight on e4, black has some chances to complicate the position. But instead, Artemiev took on f5 and now Magnus took. Took on f5 and now white uses his rook to invade on the 7th rank and to try to pick up the queen side pawns. Magnus tries to defend but white plays rook a7 and now if knight c5 is played we have b4 and the a6 pawn is gone. Let's say you go here, takes here and with the b passed pawn white is going to have an easy conversion here. So after rook a7, black tries knight d6, but white picks up the a pawn. Black defends it, but after a couple of more moves, rook d8, black resigned because white's gonna play rook d6 next, picking up this pawn eventually. With the two passers on the b file, it's going to be very easy to win the game. For example, if black plays a move h5, we have rook d6. And if black defends the pawn, we can go rook c6 and there's no support for the knight. And finally black will lose the b6 pawn, which means that the doubled b pawns will run. And that was it. A one reckless move like knight e4 uh, ruined black's position. And after f4 and g4, black was out of squares, so he had to try something by rook c3. But after several more moves, it wasn't possible for black to make some fortress. Maybe we could talk about some fortress. After rook d7, white invades and picks up the queenside pawns. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe. Bye bye.